Uh, I'm Laura47, also known as Laura and Perpetua Voilin. How long have you been doing live action role playing? I started when I was 17 in fall 2000, so coming up on 13 years. How do you define LARP? Like, how do you describe it to people who don't know it already? So I used to do a lot of recruiting at my college, MIT, for our LARPing group, and we would have the activities midway, and the freshman would come in, I'd be like, do you know what LARP is? And I'd tell them what LARP is, and that was always one of the tests we had for being, like, the recruitment person on our uh, on the board for the group, basically. And then as the years went on, they all started already knowing what LARP was. And like, do you know what LARP was like? Oh yeah, I was totally LARPing when I was 16. It was ridiculous. But if I'm explaining it, it depends who I'm talking to. If I'm explaining it to someone who knows very little about this kind of thing, I generally go with, well, it's like a cross between improv theater and like Dungeons and Dragons. That's sort of like, the safe way to go there and if I'm talking to people who really know that kind of thing better how do I define it that's actually way harder than I thought LARP LARP is like tabletops but you move around LARP is uh, being physically immersive in playing your character LARP is I don't know I think a lot of it is I think I mostly focus on the physicality to contrast it to tabletops, but I don't really feel like that's actually the defining feature. But if I'm trying to explain it to someone else, then how do I define LARP? It's live action role playing. <laughs> There's been a lot of discussion recently about the idea of LARP as an art form and contrasting with uh, LARP as a, a form of a game. Where do you land in that and why? Well, I think the question's ridiculous because I'm very broad with what I define art as and there is to me literally nothing mutually exclusive about being an art form and being a game. Like, I also am a proponent of video games as art and all sorts of things. I, to me, art is, art is all around. <laughs> um, I'll sometimes bother talking about the topic if I really feel like it, but it's of course LARPs can be art. Of course LARP is a form of creative expression. Like, what are you even talking about? Of course it is. Are we talking about fine art? I think the definition between fine art and what's, what is up with fine art, crude art, that's ridiculous. LARPs can be beautiful, LARPs can be moving, um, LARPs can just be physically exhilarating, LARPs can be terrible. Um, they could be bad art. It's a false dichotomy. What do you think makes a good character? I think that a good character has some amount of emotional depth. There's something to hold on to that allows you to grab a hold of that and be like, I'm going to be this person. A good character is either well situated in the game world or is very intentionally not well situated. They, they either make sense in this world or they're explicitly an outsider in an interesting way. A, a good LARP character gives the player things to think about and things to do and it makes it easy for them to have their character react. You don't have to stop and to be like, well, I don't know what the hell this character would do here. Uh, I just don't have enough to go on. Like a good character, you can easily stay in game and stay engaged because there's like a good chunk of something to be there. And it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to have goals, though for a lot of people that's good, and they don't necessarily have to have very long character sheets or very complicated feelings necessarily, but there has to be something that makes them an interesting experience. And I guess there can be characters who are, can be in a certain game a good character who's like totally amnesiac or something like that, but the thing, the, the forces that like buffet them around and the things that they get drawn into are really interesting. But then that might be more 
that's like more good plot writing than it is a good character. Like you can have a good time in a game without having a good character, but I think that a good character really fundamentally has something that you can latch onto that lets you be that person.